Thank you. Bye-bye. The gentleman in the camera. People are so scared about what Laz is uh, giving to us, this information, that our, the sheriff of this county wanted to call the UN. You wanted to call what? They wanted the to UN. call the UN. Oh. Which sheriff? He was afraid of us, Dan. Sheriff Holt. Oh. 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 The, the bottom line is the only county that's not UN has a UN contract. Is Grant County. All the other counties have a, some sort of contract with the UN. Well, think you guys all got to remember that you guys are the fourth branch of government. Yes. And your sheriff is important. Yes. 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 You need a constitution Unique constitutional sheriff, sheriff like Sheriff Glenn Palmer. Correct. He Doesn't is it, why the UN is not in their county. Doesn't it strike you, it scares me to death, you know, this is not my county, but it is my country. Amen. Yeah. And it scares the hell out of me that the UN. Enforcing laws in the United States? No, only if people let them do it. Well, people, we are the government. You know what? That, that's very true, but here's the deal. When they're sticking an AM 15 in your face, you let them do it. No, I'm taking it to the courts. I'm taking it to the court. But, uh, but we need a deal of days. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, Jefferson Mining District has taken the state and the bar to court in 2011. It's on our website. You can find it in the PACER of Jefferson Mining District versus Kitzhopper. They never showed up in court. They never challenged what, what we had stipulated, the fact that they were breaking the law and that these bills were passed. We're fighting uh, the bill that, that uh, Cliff Benz is touting that he just passed for the mining community last year. Uh, is now going to be overturned in this next legislative session. We're going to rewrite it. Uh, testimony that we presented in their their deal at, at one of their hearings that the Dalgami held. Uh, so we're challenging all of Dalgami's regulatory regulations as being unconstitutional. Uh, Dalgami's just changed. They have a new director who I'm supposed to work with. I'm also now supposed to work with the attorneys that with the Oregon Mining Association and the Oregon uh, Concrete and Aggregate Association, there are two attorneys, uh, who now state that they're representing all of mining, just arbitrarily self-appointed. Uh, and we pointed out to them that they do not represent members of the Jefferson Mining District. Same thing is necessary for the agricultural communities in each one of these communities of who in the legislature is not representing you uh, with these committees. But the question I have for the, the gentleman the attorney, we have won the case by default. Now I keep saying, so what? How do we enforce it? Again, uh, we start with the constitutional sheriff. Mm -hmm. okay. You need a constitutional sheriff. Yes, ma'am. Baker County right now has an appointed sheriff. We have an election coming up, a really important election. So everybody from Baker County, vote for the best man for sheriff, John Goose. <laughs> Exactly. What are the articles? Yeah. That's my question. Well, every, David Moore, Stephen E. Grassy, I mean, these, these guys, uh, even uh, Stacy Davies, I mean, all these people that are taking your land are all appointed. And again, read, read the Phyllis Papers 84. Read Article 1, Section 9, Title of Mobility. And read the Organic 13th Amendment with respect to Title of Nobility. Yes, sir. Question. This it may be a dumb question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, aside of attorneys, aside of the sheriff, have there been any ethics complaints filed against this type of collusion or the conflict of interest that you pointed out with the, the ethics department back in Salem? I mean, this, the, from what you've said, it seems so obvious. It should be a slam dunk ethics violation that, you know, we and, should just push right through. And that, that's, that's a, an, an amazing question, and that's a question for the people of Harney County. But you're not aware of any? I am not aware of that. Okay. Uh, but, uh, and actually I would bring that to some of the family members in, in Harney County. And a lady here from uh, Susan Hammond. I don't know if Susan Hammond took that, uh, took that approach. 
But uh, if she didn't, then I definitely, most definitely think that she take, should take that approach and name every person within my documents on that corner right there, right there, with respects to all the co-conspirators that I wrote that participated directly and indirectly in her case, in the Hammonds case. Because I studied that for two months to find out all the players and what they had. And it, 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 it makes it an interest. Because if, when somebody does something, it's always a motive. And just follow that rabbit hole. Look at what, look what they're going to get. And we already know what the Hammonds have underneath their ground. Because of the 1793 exposure satellite that buried Gold Inc. through seven other corporations with Harry Reid and other uh, traders from, the, from, from, uh, from Congress and the Senate that put that land exploration satellite up there. And I tell you this much, how Harry Reid is, uh, is, is so full of corruption, not that he just passed the, Bu uh, the Golden Bu uh, Law, the S-199 and 198, with respect to where the Bundys are at, but it also affects you guys, the Oregonian, believe it or not. Re read that bill. I beg you to go, go read it. Pull it up. It's called S-199, S-198. The gold pew. It's right there. I'll be more than happy. After, if you want to see it, we can go through it and dissect it. But this is more, this is more intriguing. So who represents Barrett Gold, Inc.? Rory Reed. Who's the lobbyist for Barrett Gold, Inc.? Harry Reed's son-in-law, Steve. Who is... Uh, the geologist for Barrett Gold Inc. Neil Crones, the principal deputy director, Neil Crones, his father, Gregory Crones, from Nevada, worked for Barrett Gold Inc. as a geologist. What does Barrett Gold Inc. look for? What do they have investments in? And your minerals. Fine. Correct. So how convenient that you have the principal deputy director, Gregory Crones' dad, working for Barrett Gold Inc. with Harry Reid. And by the way, anybody seen Harry Reid's campaign contributions? They're over there, Barrett Gold Inc. Don't, I didn't fabricate that, it's right there. You can even see his face right there. So, uh, so all this comes together on how they're defrauding you guys, the Oregonians. Every individual here is defrauding you. Every, every person that I name here, I'll be more than happy to come over here and try to sue me for slander and defamation. Because I promise you, all these documents right here, well, I'll be having a field day for the next three days at the county recorder's office as I file each one. And by the way, I want all the media to come over, and I want everybody from Baker County, all to Grant County, and Harney County to see me. And I'll bring coffee and donuts at my expense. <laughs> They'll be there all day and all night. Because I guarantee you, the truth will come out, one way or another. Harry Reid's going to court in Utah on uh, the 21st, and he's going to court in Nevada on the 27th of June, and uh, going in for bribery and a bunch of other stuff. So. Yeah. 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 so this is where it started, with Harry Reid and Jeff Merkley, Ron Whiting and Greg Walden. This document right here, that was back in... In, in 2007, 2008, this news article has everything on how they were going to go ahead and start taking the land from the Oregonians and, and Nevada here. This is where I hear the article, and they have their names on it. And, they, and by the way, they're having a field fest because half of this stuff they quoted on them. So they're running their mouth on how they're going to take your land. How are they going to take your land and your minerals? Because you let them do it. Exactly. This is not me, this is right here. Yes, sir. Yep, they come here and tell us how hard they're working for us and uh, run their mouth real fast and loud and avoid a lot of questions when you ask them. I know a couple of people in this room, they kind of change the subject when you uh, corner them on a few things. But, I mean, we got people protecting them too here, you know, in Eastern Oregon too, so they aren't going to let the. So how do we defeat that? We got to wake the people up. And, your constitutional we need sheriff, 20, we need 25 of you guys yeah. to get yeah. together on the common law grand jury. That's what we need. We need also, all you guys. Also, too, you go and talk to your sheriff. They they uh, always keep coming up with the statute thing. Well, I'd like to uh, 
enforce the con you know, take you know, you know, go by my oath and uphold the Constitution. But I got a little thing called the Oregon State Statute. In my way. Yes, ma'am. I think for the car recall, isn't it like 543 signatures? Well, every every county is because well, of the population. Different. I see. Okay. For so yeah. for grass yes, sir. That's a good point. Yeah, they got 544. I think they got one over there. Uh, well, it's just like here, what we're dealing with, you know, down there, it's going to be the monument. Uh, you know, what affects them down there affects us. And I know for a fact our county commissioner wrote a letter in opposition to that. I don't know if they got any, I don't know, did you get any feedback, Bill, from that? No. Okay, I, will, so I, will, I will promise you, before, the, before, before we leave here, I'm going to touch that. And I'm going to articulate it on how they're systematically playing both sides. So, and then also too, so they got the monument deal down there, which, you know, we're going to have to, uh, you know, let's face it, Baker County, we're going to have to get behind them and help them out down there. You know, what's bad, you know, we're all in this together, but, you know, we got the road thing going on up here. You know, we've got a group up here that's fighting the, that has been for a lot of years up here, uh, getting people, you know, involved, you know, um, keeping them updated on what's going on, but even at that, if they end up, if this group ends up suing them, you just go right into their court system again, and they'll, they'll keep you in that court system for years and years. Wow. Um, you're, there again, we're right back into this judicial thing, so what's the point of really suing them when, you know, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is you know, it's frustrating looking at this thing, you know, because they want us to write comments write letters in to comment on all this stuff. You know, but at the same time, my opinion, through my education, through manners that have taught me, you know, by, by allowing yourself to write those letters into that, you're agreeing that they have some kind of jurisdiction, some kind of, when they don't, they don't. Correct, and I you where they have the, in, you know, the authority or the jurisdiction to do anything they're doing with this, and, and this is where we come, and we, and I have to, and we have to say it again. That's why you need a constitutional sheriff. Give them a copy of the constitution. The people have to be able to support the sheriff in order for the sheriff to be able to support. The sheriff. Correct. Mm -hmm. Once you do that, and you create your twenty-five member grand jurist, because that's what a nineteen ninety-two case, Willem versus U.S. and Scalia is he articulated perfect in his ruling. The power of the people when all three branches are, 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 of government is a de facto government. And when I buy me de facto, it's corrupt. It lies on the people. Scalia's word, I never wrote that. That's his Supreme Court ruling, 1992. Willem versus U.S. You guys have the power. All it takes is 25 and 20 and, 20 and 10 alternates. Go to the county recorder's office and then, get, and, then, and then give it to your sheriff. And he'll deputize as many people as you know to go and arrest these individuals.